Fine, Bentley. I'll play I'll play Ring Around the Rosie with you. Come on. Anybody want to join in? Feel free. Alright, survivors, welcome back to the Escapist. It is now day two of Pablo Punchwood's life sentence here at Alcatraz, aka The Rock, and Pablo had a pretty good day on day one. Very successful. So let's see if we can continue this good fortune on day two. Let's roll. Rise and shine, Punchwood. Come on, get up. Early bird gets the worm. That works every time. Just take his covers. And in fact, we're going to use these covers right now. Two bed sheets to make a bed sheet rope. And no, we're not because we're too dumb to tie two sheets together. Wow. Boy. You are off your game, Pablo Punchwood. What is your intellect? 25. Okay. Yeah, we got to hit the books. So one of the things I want to do today early on is uh, observe the guards and see whether or not they come into this service corridor. And I'm going to put a, a, a piece of contraband in there as a decoy to try to see. Uh, we'll try to figure out how far they can see in through that door. Because I'm sure they can get in there. There's an orange key. And they've been traveling through orange locks easily enough for the most part. But um, I'm curious to see how far they can see in there. Because I want to put contraband in here. It's a lovely spot for contraband. Ooh, I could use a lighter. I want to make a hot cup of cocoa to smash a guard pretty soon. Um... So that's one of the things we'll do today. The other is we're going to try to bust through this wall and put up another poster. So I need... Ooh. I'm going to need a magazine today. And why are we so full? I can't beat anybody up. Let's get rid of these. Sorry, Super Cole. Can't beat anybody up, but I can do this distraction. And I can get Steve's candle from Hunter. I'm sure of that. And there's Morris. Frankie Morris. One of the few people to escape Alcatraz. And I love that he's here. That's just so awesome. No, I don't want to let you do your own thing. Super Cole wants a sock. Okay. I can get you one of them. All right, let's go do this distraction job. And then, uh, then we get a free period, which is awesome. All right, I'm just going to pretend. I'm going to have my corn dog like everybody else. Or possibly a Krabby Patty. I'm going to grab uh, four forks. Should get us through the, uh, the, the, the service corridor wall. And where is Morris? He's right here. I want to punch somebody, but who do you want to punch? Um, Simon? Yeah, let's hit Simon. Ready? Well, first he's going to move. Go get some food, and I'm going to punch him up here. Yes! Ooh. Oh, no, get him. He punched me first, sir. Oh, it's Bentley, no wonder. My arch enemy forever and ever in all prisons. Fine, Bentley. I'll play, I'll play Ring Around the Rosie with you. Come on. Anybody want to join in? Feel free. Don't everybody get up at once. All right, that was fun and all, but I gotta go. Man, persistent buggers, aren't they? All right, I'm out of here. Go, 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 go. Leave. Okay, they're gone. All right, now, let us... We have to get smarter, don't we? Um, I want another pillow, too, because I want to make a, a bed dummy. But I can't make that sheet rope until... Well, can I make a bed dummy? Let's make the bed dummy. Maybe I can just do that instead. Come on, force it out of here. But I need a pillow. I need six more for bed dummy. I'm so dumb. Uh, fine. Let's put everything in here and let's uh, let's go get smart. Let's let's go hit the books. You be gone. So what I find very cool is that Frank Morris and uh, the Anglin brothers, the two guys that escaped with him from Alcatraz did indeed make a dummy. So they had um, they had a fake heads. Well, they all made fake heads. All three of them. Actually, there was a fourth guy too, but he didn't get out. So they make fake heads out of paper mache. They used real hair. They ended up getting paint. So one of the guy, um, one of the guys asked for paint so he could do some painting, even though he wasn't really into painting. And this is all from the movie. I don't know how much of this is fact or fiction, but. Um, I do know that they made the heads because you can actually see the fake heads if you go to Alcatraz on a tour. They have the fake heads made by these, these inmates. And they would put them in their beds at night so that they could sneak out and do some work on the ventilations because they had to cut through a vent um, to get up onto the roof. And that's how they escaped. So I think that is so awesome. So they literally put the dummy in the bed. Uh oh Oh, man, I wish I could test this right now. Uh... So let's get the sheet rope. Let's see, can I make this now? Yes. And I can make the bed dummy too, right? Yeah. Um, oh, he's right there, but I can't do it while he's there. He's too close. We'll put the sheet rope in there. 
so yeah, they actually did that. They would put the, the head in and cover it up with sheets. Um, let's just drop it right about here and see if they can see that. And they'd put the head right at the edge of the bed. The bed was actually up against the fence. Like, literally right up against it. So the guards would walk by, see the head with the covers all the way up to the chin. And they must have put pillows or something for the body, right? To trick them. And, uh... And it, was, it fooled them. It fooled them long enough so that the guys could get out and do... Cut through the, uh, the ventilation shaft. Which was up above the, um, this maintenance hall. I would love if this had a, a ventilation here. And we could mimic that escape in this playthrough. But I don't think there's any vents in this particular prison. Which is kind of a bummer. A timber brace? Yeah, I can do that. We have plenty of timber. There's a lot of wood here in prison. The next exercise period, distract the guards while I slip away. Simon? Um, maybe. Hold on, Simon. Where's Morris? Shush it and face me? Fine, I'm right here. Go ahead. Let's do it. Shake down, shake down. Super Cole and Lance. Okay. We have $56. What do we need? Nothing really right now. Just duct tape. Duct tape and a magazine is what I'm really after. So we can bust through here and put up another... Poster of Cheryl Teagues. That thieving rat stepped toe. All right, I'll do that one. Oh, he changed, he's changed his favor. That's pretty cool. Uh, step toe. We'll check his desk for you, all right? All right, very good. So. Yeah, that would be awesome if we could climb up into a vent. Because that's how they did it. They chipped through their walls. Got back. Oh. Oh, it's gone, guys. So they do use the service room if they see your stuff. Now we're gonna t we're gonna do one more test. We're gonna do another test. Actually, I don't want to use my dummy because I want my dummy. Just because it's harder to get two pillows into this two sheets. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, put it in. Oh, it's number four. What are you doing? Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I don't want them to see me here. That'd be bad. Right there. Let's see if they can see that. There they go. Nope. Nothing. Awesome. Okay, that's good. We'll leave that right there then. In fact, let's... Well, let's leave it there for a little longer. Those guys seem to walk right by. We don't have too much contraband here to be too concerned about right now. Um, although this wall block, I really want to get rid of this thing. Let's go flush it. Let's go flush it right now. And then we'll we'll head back there tonight and do some chipping. But I really need a magazine, so let's go find a magazine. Ooh, gone. Um, let's check some desks for magazine. Ooh, I need that too. And let's check step toes and hunter's desks if we can find them. Let's go on this side. I think hunter's desk is over here. And there's a bunch of unoccupied desks here, too. So, yeah. So, these guys escaped by chipping through their walls. They got up to the roof. Through the ventilation. And then the ventilation! From the ventilation up onto the roof. And then they climbed down. And then climbed... Uh, they scaled a fence. A perimeter fence on the outside. And they got down to the water. And they had these kind of makeshift uh, flotation devices. Oh, guys! Awesome! Oh, this is great. I want the cup. And we got... Oh, that's Hunter's Desk. Awesome. Oh, that's great. Now we got our cup so we can make a... Uh, we can make hot cocoa, but I still need that dang magazine. Okay, yeah, these forks are taking up way too much space. I gotta get rid of those dang forks. Uh, hey, Julian, stop. Let me give you this before we head in. You got it. Pretty cool stuff indeed. I don't have any distractions. Nope, we can just eat today. All right. What can I do for you, Chase? Sheet of metal. Yeah, I suppose so. How about you, Caleb? Grab the guard's attention next evening. All right, fine. All right, exercise period. Uh, waste of my time. I got things to look for. Sometimes people sell magazines, so let's see. No, no magazines, but I'll definitely take the duct tape. Magazines are pretty cheap usually when you do find them. So yeah, Frank and uh, Anglin boys used makeshift flotation devices that that they made out of uh, raincoats and lots of super glue, I guess, and maybe duct tape. 
don't know. I don't know if they had duct tape then. I guess they did. In the 60s. Morris. What can I give you, man? How about a razor blade? Pretty cool stuff. Shower block. And there is a metal detector. So we have to go put this duct tape away. Oh my gosh. Look at all the forks. I don't want the super glue. Alright. Unfortunately, we don't have our magazine. So I can't do any chipping tonight. This is a real bummer. No magazine. I already talked to you, huh? All right. Oh, we have an, uh, uh, one more free period. Okay, this is our last chance to find a magazine. Let's see if we can't find it. Ah! Super Cole, stop! Oh, guards. Dang it. I can't even fight him. I'm too weak. I got one life left. I'm going to check your desk. Just for that. Take your playing cards. Ha! I'm such a wimp. Um, somebody wanted a sock, right? Who was that? Super cool! I can't even get near him. He attacks me. Oh, man. Steptoe's desk. Yeah, there's Steptoe right there. Oh, look, he's got a file. Sorry, Steptoe. Had to be done. I'm running out of space, and I just need a magazine. <gasps> Whoa, look at the magazines. All right. I'm, in fact, I'm going to take them both. Um, all right. Yeah, that's good. I hope I don't need that last fork. Caleb Red for no. Okay. Wow. Um, oh, did they get that? Contraband? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. They came in and took it, didn't they? So, I don't know if any contraband is going to be safe back here, guys. Sheet of metal for Chase. Let's go find Chase. I got to get rid of this uh, contraband. Dang it! Ugh. Evening roll call. Come on, Chase. Hurry up. Hands are full. I don't have time for this. All right. Somebody wanted a sock. Super cold. Where's Super Cole? Here. Take your dang sock. Henry and Lance getting the shakedown. All right. Well, this is not good. Chase, where are you? Okay, great. No Chase. Awesome. That's just lovely. I hope I have enough forks to get through now. All right, let's take the bed dummy and put the bed dummy in. Just like Frank Morris. That's so wild. Let's make the poster. Farrah Fawcett made. Awesome. Save the medal for uh, Chase for tomorrow. And let's grab all the forks. Put this in here. I'm going to need all of the forks. I'm going to have to come back for that one. And I have no fatigue right now. This is going to be fatiguing. Now, I don't think they go in this hall unless there's something that they see that they should snatch up, like contraband. So, I think if I put the contraband down this end, they won't bother with it because they walk by, they see it, and then they come in to get it. But they did see one all the way over here, didn't they? All right, well, let's bust through. I think we can do this with the forks that we have. It's going to be close, but I think we can do it. And I don't think they can hear me chipping from this side. They certainly can't see me chipping. So we might be okay. I love this utility corridor. Come on. Fork breaks. This is the last one. Get a little closer. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Wait a minute. Whew, that was close. Anthony. Wait till he's gone. Flashlight coming. Go. Whoa. Too fatigued. No! Last chip. Last chip. 2.30 in the morning. 
plenty of time. Take it easy. Don't rush. No mistakes here. Done. We're through. Awesome. That is so great. Now, time to get organized. I'd like to get rid of that wall block, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'll flush it tomorrow morning. And we'll go through all this inventory tomorrow. All right. We're done here, folks. Hope you enjoyed episode number two. And tomorrow... Ooh, I'm going to grab my turkey out of the oven. Tomorrow, day three, we shall continue. Um, all right. With that, we're going to call it quits. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm hopping, in, hopping into bed. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.